Hey there. In this video, I've just finished putting together the base of this diorama and also a few of the larger leftover details such as the power pole steps, planks on the ground and that kind of thing. All the fine detailing is yet to be done in the next video. I do have a few small details on this one, but they're not glued down. They're not finished. They're just there for, you know, a thumbnail basically. So it doesn't look completely barren. But this is just a, a shorter video, so it's more of a step-by-step -step guide for anyone that actually wants to recreate my work. So it's a little easier to follow and more cohesive and not just such a huge amount of, uh, you know, information in one go. So I hope you get something out of this and I hope you enjoy the video. I cut the angle down on this just on the left side, so I would just have an angled ground for my diorama. I can prop it up and see that the angle is the correct height for the steps and give it a quick spray with a black brown acrylic wash just to darken it enough and uh, yeah the bottom not so worried I'm going to be covering that and then just some very cheap PVA glue to put down my lovely sand this is reptile sand from a pet store it's brilliant it's got all different tones of uh, grains of sand so uh, I like this one very much very natural looking uh, plonk down my this is some old glue it, I struggled getting it out of this container I've had it for years and it's, it's the consistency of cottage cheese <laughs> but yeah you know, I don't want to throw it away so uh, I went with it and used it oh god look at it blop and I just mashed it into my foam it worked well enough and then I sprinkled my sand down entirely covered it too I did except for that bit where the building's going to be sitting as you can see it's a vacant bit of land and sprinkle it down neatly and it comes out beautiful and tidy though I'm not going to leave it this way but it's a good start and I just got a bit of plyboard and stained it and lacquered it I traced along the shape of the uh, each side of the diorama and just, you know, it's a cover-up of ugly, messy foam. It neatens things. Now a bit of a brown wash, just to add another sort of layer of, of tone. Eventually it's going to look like a muddied ground and this is just, you know, a starting point. I've put a few things under here just to support my building, some foam and a few you know bits of dowel so it's nice and firm and sitting exactly at the right uh, height and angle bit of good thick glue not the other stuff some decent stuff this one it's a very good wood glue this one and now for the steps really really basic stuff I just get these little coffee stirrers cut them to length by eyeballing them and uh, just stack them on top of each other they're not 100% accurate, but, uh, you know, it's a dinky diorama, so got to stick with the brand <laughs> and my laziness. But as you can see, you just stack them up. You just copy each one exactly the same length. You know, you make one and then the rest are cookie cutter. Support in the back. I glue it down on plastic so it's not going to stick to everything. And then just put these in as the, uh, the supports under the steps. And there it is ready to put more of these uh, these are popsicle sticks they're all just stained and then a light you know gray sort of dusting on them and that's it they're so basic these are about the neatest easiest stairs I think I've ever made that's right they're steps when they're outdoors they're steps when they're indoors they're stairs I learned that last year <laughs> They look great. Here's a little um, board, just more coffee stirrers glued together. You can see the glue on the back that no one will ever see where I've laid it down and glued it on plastic so it wouldn't stick. A few slivers across the top and they're ready to whack on there. Dry brushing of an off-whitish sort of a grey. These are uh, quite light looking now. I haven't darkened them up. I will be putting a uh, brown wash on everything when I'm done just so it gives it that dirty, more aged 
cohesive look of an entire diorama as one piece. They look nice. They're really starting to pull the building down to the ground. A couple of more steps here. The ground is so uneven, I um, struggled a little bit because I don't measure. So I've plonked this one down and put the left side up as a support to balance it out. And then once I glued that down and the steps down, then I put these little pieces in and glued them in one by one. More coffee stir is simply stained, dried, dry brushed. You know, I used a little knife to cut a few little chips out of the end to make them look more worn. And just poke them in there. Very, very basic. More for the boardwalk here. I, I'm, I'm going to assume it's called a boardwalk because it makes sense. And just lay them along. I didn't go quite to the edge of the diorama just so it doesn't touch the edge because it may look odd. I'm trying to keep it almost as a frame with an outer edge, a small amount of space. They're really filling it in quite quickly. I will be doing more of these in the next video as well. For another set of steps over here because I'm pretty sure there's a set of steps there I'm struggling to find any view of the left side of this building um, from any videos or images I'll be putting a power pole in here I've just got this bit of dowel I don't know where I got this but I remember using the same one on my original sheriff's office it looks like it's out of a bird cage it's um, very nice and rough looking and I just stained it up like everything else everything wouldn't I always just give it a stain and then a dry brushing on top. More coffee stirrers. The great thing about coffee stirrers is that um, they're always the right size. Not the right length, but they're always the right, the right width. And I love the grain of the wood. It, um, it really adds to the realism. That's why I just use them for just about everything especially things that are wooden because it makes a lot of sense <laughs> and then I just uh, yeah used these bits of uh, bolster wood and I poked a hole in them and a bit of a skewer through that I you know dirtied up at one end just to make it look as though it's uh, actually attached and not just glued on the way I'd, I'd made it these are little details so what really make your work it looks uh, more sophisticated than what it actually is. Just chop it off at the back and it all works itself out. I did put a dab of super glue in the uh, the back of this just so it makes sure it didn't come out and it was more solid when I glued it onto the, the piece of dowel. It looks so nice and rough and aged. I did end up darkening these two with a bit more brown because they were just too dry and aged looking to go with the actual pole and making the pole uh, with a dry brush kind of, I don't know, it didn't look right. So I sort of made everything brown. These are just more coffee stirrers. I just I lay the angle, I draw it and I cut it with scissors and then I just mimic it again once I've done the one that fits. It's a very lazy way of doing everything that I do. Just drawing in my angle. It's as vertical as I can get it. <laughs> if it's not quite right, I could sand it. But uh, it tends to work out this way. I'll just lay it on there, draw it up, because that's now my little, my little template. Cut the other three and I just glue them all on. Really, really quick stuff. And that's it uh, assembled, though it isn't complete. And I've got those little bits of polymer clay on top that look like the little connectors. I'm not sure what they're called. But, you know, the things that the power goes to. <laughs> and there it is. It's not complete, but it looks quite good. It really adds some height to this uh, diorama. And that's it for this video. I've got a lot to do in the next one, all these little things like barrels and crates and yeah, I'll be showing you how I did a lot of this stuff, though I haven't figured it out yet, I haven't fine-tuned how to do it, these are my little prototypes, but uh, you can see it's it's getting there and the scale is quite good, but it's fiddly stuff, this little barrel, it's a half barrel of uh, 
of apples. It, uh, it came out quite nice. It's not even glued together. They're not even glued down. They're falling around everywhere. But they look quite good. You can see it's really coming together now as a really nice diorama. There's much to do on the ground. I've got to, I've got to dirty everything up. And um, yeah, I, I'm very much looking forward to it. I've mean, got to put in the hitching post. I'm considering doing a wagon, though I know it's going to be a difficult thing to create because wheels are very hard to make. I've got to hook this up to make it look like there's power running to the building. I'm going to put a lamp on here, not a working lamp, but you know, a, a nice faux lamp and uh, all sorts of stuff to be done yet. I hope you got something out of this and I hope to see you next time.